Good morning, church. Pastor Caleb here with your devotion today. We're working through the Heidelberg Catechism, and the Heidelberg Catechism for the past several days have been working through the Apostles' Creed, going through and dig really digging into what is meant when we say we believe all the things that we say in the Apostles' Creed. And today, we finish it up. This is the last bit where the Catechism deals with the Apostles' Creed. We've got the last two phrases today, so let's get into it. Question. How does the resurrection of the body comfort you? Answer. Not only will my soul be taken immediately after this life to Christ its head, but also my flesh will be raised by the power of Christ, reunited with my soul, and made like Christ's glorious body. Now, that's a really, it's a really cool thing. First off, um, I, it's, it's surprising how many folks, when we get to that part of the creed, they think it's declaring belief in the resurrection of Jesus Christ's body. Um, I know that's what I thought for a good long time. That, yep, okay, we're restating again. We believe in the resurrection of Jesus Christ's body. Okay, cool. Um, but no, it's, it's a lot more than that. It's because Christ was resurrected that then we are resurrected. That after we die, we will be, we won't just be a disembodied soul, you know, floating on a cloud, staring at Jesus, staring at God and plucking a harp. No, we'll be a real physically resurrected person. Um, and it's, it, it, that is a, a thing that is more important than I think most of us believe. At one point, uh, Paul, in Paul's writings, um, he's addressing though th this this notion that we will not be resurrected. There are some who believe that you know human resurrection will not happen, uh, and he said, "Look, if we're not resurrected, if we don't become resurrected, then Christ was never resurrected because there'd be no point in being resurrected if Jesus did not bring us along on the resurrection journey. And if Jesus Christ was not resurrected, then that would mean that he was not divine." that he was not truly God. And if he wasn't God, then folks, we've been following the wrong thing. Close the book, we've got better things to do. So really, scripture states that human resurrection in Jesus Christ is absolutely vital to Christian theology. Take that away and it all comes crumbling down and we need to go find something better to do with our lives because then it's all been false. Human resurrection is absolutely essential, and that is what we are promised. I will make one little comment um, about like the order of things, order of events that the Catechism is saying will happen. It, it seems to be like there will be um, there will be a time of separation between the soul and the body, and the soul will go to to uh, to Jesus, and the body will kind of wait around for uh, the, the day of resurrection, right? Scripture speaks of a day of resurrection that is to come you know, when Christ returns, brings a new heaven, a new earth, all of that. Um, well, here's an interesting thing. We don't actually know like, the actual like, steps and timing for how things are going to work out. Uh, for for like, what happens after you die and what happens between like, you know, now and the day of resurrection. We don't know what really happens. Um, but we know that in the end, we will have resurrection. And whether... We exist separate from the body for a period until the day of resurrection, or if like we are instantly transported forward in time and we get the resurrection body immediately. No one knows, but we know that we're getting that the ultimate destination is resurrection. And now moving on to the next question, the last question dealing with the uh, Apostles' Creed. Question: How does the article concerning life everlasting comfort you? Answer. Even as I already know, sorry, as I already now experience in my heart the beginning of eternal joy, so after this life I will have perfect blessedness such as no eye has seen, no ear has heard, no human heart has ever imagined, a blessedness in which to praise God forever. I love it how it's connected with life right now. Affirming that we have this joy, this blessedness it, through Jesus Christ right now. But then once, then in the life everlasting, after, after this mortal life is over, and we continue on in the kingdom of heaven, what the, 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 the best joy that we can get out of this now is just going to be a tiny little foretaste to what we will have then. It's, it's joy beyond imagining 
where we just get to live in love with each other and with God. And uh, we just sing God's praises into eternity. So friends, that's it. That's that's uh, Heidelberg's examination of the Apostles' Creed. That's a great thing to do on Saturday, isn't it? Okay, cool. Now, a uh, little word about what's going to ha be happening for the next two weeks. I'm going to be on study leave for here this next week, and then I'll be on a vacation the, the week after. So, sorry, but we're not going to have the daily upload videos. Not going to have one every single day of the week. But you will get a few videos sprinkled throughout. And I have decided whether I want to do two videos a week or three, um, but you will be getting some devotional content during this time that I'm away. It'll just be a little bit less than normal. Thanks a lot for tuning in. Have a wonderful day. Oh, wait, we forgot to do something important. Let's pray. Loving and amazing God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, we thank you for the resurrection that we have to look forward to in the eternal life with you. Help us to embrace the joy afforded to us now through your Holy Spirit dwelling within us and uniting us with Christ. And help us to look forward to what is to come in that next amazing and unimaginably great step of the journey. In Jesus' holy name we pray. Amen. So thanks for tuning in, folks. Uh, like I always say, there are links in the description for PDF copies of the Heidelberg Catechism as well as the Presbyterian Book of Confessions, which contains Heidelberg as well as many other theological documents that form the theological foundation for the Presbyterian Church USA. Uh, go ahead and click on those if you would like to read along as well or study on your own. Make sure to keep yourself and others safe when you are out and about in public by wearing that mask, and I'll see you tomorrow.